Hey guys, what's up? It's the Chaos Prophet, and today I have Battlefield 1 for you. Now, this is sort of a mini rant, so uh, if you don't enjoy these, uh, go ahead and click off. I apologize, uh, but I do want to get this off my chest, and uh, it has to do with uh, the trials for Battlefield 1. It has to do with EA Access, and uh, it also has to do with special events, and I'll go through each one uh, and tell you how I feel about them. <clears throat> Because I think they're kind of dumb. Uh, and, and here's why. Uh, <laughs> uh, the Trials is okay for most games. Uh, but for Battlefield 1, if you had EA Access, you were allowed to have 10 hours of multiplayer. And you were allowed to keep your progression. So you were allowed to keep whatever you earned uh, when you were ranking up. And uh, I think that's kind of dumb. I don't understand that logic. Uh, I, I understand that uh, they wanted to get the, the game out there to people to try it and uh, to test everything. Uh, but it was the full game. It had all the maps. It had everything like that. And uh, 10 hours isn't that long, but I believe it was on like the 12th or the 13th that this trial came out. And they were allowed to play for a while and uh, for at least 10 hours. And if you spread that out perfectly, uh, you were able to get that up all the way till uh now which is the ea access and <clears throat> i originally thought i originally thought that the ea access wasn't a bad deal wasn't a bad idea um or, or wasn't a big deal for me now i could afford it don't get that wrong don't get that twisted i know some people might be like oh well you're just poor and this is why you're complaining no not at all uh i could have uh, but there was lots of games coming out, and I had to make decisions of where I was putting my money. And paying 20 extra dollars to get some skins uh, and a few other things, along with three days of early access, uh, was not high on my priority. So I wanted other games instead. But uh, the more I thought about it, the more I thought it was kind of bullshit. And the reason is, is because people are already making videos. People are already uh, learning the maps and getting the guns and earning the things that people won't have when the game actually fully launches. So, I, I know EA Access allows you to get other games from their vaults and stuff like that, and that's fine. Um, if you're playing those games, that's fine. But having a game that's early, and Gears of War did this as well, if you got the uh, Ultimate Edition, uh, you were allowed to play like four days early or something like that. Uh, it's it's just total bullshit. It just basically means uh, they're not getting us with DLC as much anymore, but they're getting us with, uh, the developers are getting us with, hey, pay more money and you'll get it a few days early. Uh, like if it was a week, maybe, maybe I would consider paying 20 more dollars just to get it for a, a whole week. Uh, but basically it was just three days uh, I believe we're in the second day now, so that's fine. Uh, I think we get it on Thursday. I, I, I understand that, you know, I get it at like 10 p.m. because it's 12 p.m. Uh, Eastern. That's fine. I understand that. But three days early access is just kind of bullshit either way. And again, it doesn't matter if I bought it or not. If I bought it and uh, and I was playing it, I would still be complaining. This video would still go up because I realized that how much it can be, uh, especially if you're a YouTuber um, or just anybody playing, even if you're not a YouTuber or a streamer, you are learning the maps, you're gaining weapons, you are uh, just learning the routes that you can take, uh, what weapons can do what and all that kind of things. And it's just, it's kind of annoying that I can't experience that because I didn't pay $20. So it's, it's kind of bullshit. Um, uh, I, I don't understand that. I mean, I know they want to make money and that's the point of being a developer and making a game. But if, uh, if you wanted to do that, all you had to do was do exactly what you did for the insiders, for uh, the early insiders for the, um, for the beta. All you had to do was give them a day, and that would have been fine. Although most people probably would have complained then and gone, why am I paying $20 for some skins and an extra day? Uh, but that would have been more fair because they would only have a day, 24 hours, to uh, learn the maps, gain all the guns, and uh, play with their friends, stuff like that. Uh, and, and then the rest of the world would be able to catch up with them and play with them. And so it's originally, it didn't bother me, 
but it does now because uh, I'm not able to make any videos on it. I'm not able to capture any footage on it. I could use somebody else's footage, uh, one of my friends or something like that, but uh, I don't feel like bothering them with uh, saying, hey, give me some gameplay. Uh, I need to make a video. I'd rather just do that on my own. The third thing I want to talk to you about is special events. I don't understand... Uh, I mean, I understand what it, the special events does for DICE, for anybody, any game developer that goes, hey, this is a big YouTuber, they're going to promote my game, and I'm going to fly them out so that they can capture early gameplay and then put it up on their channel, and then people are hyped to see it and want to play it, and then they buy it. I get that. Um, but it doesn't need to be a, and I know some people might be pissed off about this, I apologize, but it doesn't need to be a Republican standpoint. Like, it doesn't need to be a let's take the biggest players and make them bigger, stronger by letting them have early gameplay. And I know there is an embargo or whatever where you're not allowed to post gameplay at a certain time, but they still, once they released the trials for Battlefield 1, that was when, uh, you know, Level Cap and Matimio and, and Westy and Jack Frags and all of them started releasing. Uh, gameplay because people had the full game and they were allowed to play it for 10 hours. I understand what the developers are doing and why they do it, but they should be giving it to people that are lower uh, that are on the totem pole and allow them to fly out and capture the gameplay and allow you to uh, get the audience because that's a lot better. If you get, grab a guy that only has 100,000 subscribers and give him content that nobody else has then more people are going to flock to him and he's going to grow and then you just have more bigger people in, in YouTube. And that's what we want. It's really hard to grow on YouTube. It's really hard to grow on, on Twitch and other streaming places. It's just ridiculous to keep uh, powering up your uh, biggest guys that are already that don't need the help that can make any video once they get the three day early access uh, or just get the game in general and they're going to make a video and it's going to get a couple hundred thousand views or a million views depending on how big they are so it's like what are you doing I, I don't fucking understand it and you're just you're just promoting you know what it is it, it's we've all played Pokemon more than likely but Here's the thing, uh, when you have Pokemon, you usually have one, two, or maybe three strongest Pokemon that you usually got from the start, and uh, you power them up because they were with you the longest. They have the strongest moves, they have the better moves, so you're going to use them more often, and your other three Pokemon don't get used a lot. Now, some of you might say, well, I switch out all my Pokemon, and that's great. Uh, a lot of people do put one of their Pokemon that they're working on, and then they bring them back, and they throw out their strongest one, and they kill them, and then they both earn XP. That's great. Uh, and, and you might also say, well, eventually you get XP share, and then, you know, if, if everybody can get a chance to get XP, or, or just one Pokemon in particu particular. But... <clears throat> doesn't take away the fact that you're using your strongest Pokemon because they're the strongest ones and they're going to get you through the battle more than likely. There are ex exceptional cases, but it's just, it's just bullshit. It's dumb. I don't like it. And you're just promoting the bigger guys on YouTube. And e even if it's not me that you're allowing to go there because I have nowhere near the subs to do that, uh, but if you're taking the guys that have 100,000, 200,000, 300,000, those guys need help, and uh, even the guys that are below them kind of need help, but I can understand that they, if they don't have a big enough audience, then why fly them out and give them exclusive coverage? Uh, but the guys in the couple hundred thousand do have that population, and people are going to look for it, and they're going to get more subscribers, and then you're just helping people, which is a good thing. So overall, the trials, the EA access, the special events, they're all kind of bullshit. Uh, and I don't like this path that the developers are going down. You can see it in Gears of War 4. You can see it in Battlefield 1. Uh, I think there's other games where it's like, hey, get this a few days early. That's, that's not a good thing, and we're buying into it just like we bought into the whole DLC thing where they're like, hey, we created this game, and we're going to gut some of the content and make them pay again so that they can have uh, the content later instead of just giving it to us all. I mean, I know they have to make money. I understand that. But you don't have to screw us over with the price either. If it's a $20 uh, season pass, 
that's fine. Uh, and I know you're probably like, well, it's a twenty dollar uh, thing to get three days access. That's a little bit too much. Um, <laughs> we're talking about you get three days and then everybody has it, so it's all the same. You're kind of screwing them over, even though you're giving them some skins and stuff, stuff like that, some special things. It's not really that good, and uh, it's it's kind of dumb. And I can't play it, and I don't really want to watch it because I don't want to learn the maps or see the maps and all that kind of stuff. So uh, I'm watching very little of Battlefield One stuff, uh, even though I'm very hyped for this game. But yeah, guys, I hope you did enjoy. I'm sorry for ranting a little bit. It's just kind of stupid. I don't enjoy it. It's dumb. I don't like any of these trials or EA Access stuff, or special events, but yeah, this has been the Chaos Prophet, saying don't get lost in the chaos, later guys, and be free.